participants encouraged with your response to my previous presentation on sociology of corona i'm making another attempt to go slightly deeper into uh, functional aspects of uh, this virus and uh, uh, i will show some slides um, Uh, the question is are there some functions of covid 19 all the time we are talking of dysfunctions in comparison with the hype that covid 19 has created it is one of the most benign epidemic this is what i feel now following professor edge agains uh, who taught in california university and who used merton's revision to functionalism we hypothesize that it has a number of functions which outweigh its uh, dysfunction actually all the time we are talking of uh, infections and recoveries and deaths but i would say that uh, even health dysfunctions of uh, covid 19 are not uh, uh, much because measured in terms of disease burden this is how demographers and biostatisticians measure the disease burden disability adjusted years or daily disab d for disability uh, a for adjusted l for life y for years disability adjusted like life years it contributes little to deaths and uh, uh, even in uh, high for fertility countries even in those countries where number of deaths due to coronavirus have been more now due to higher and the reason is that uh, uh, the, uh, that uh, the proportion of deaths at higher ages uh, is more actually whether it is italy or it is iran or it is united states or uk and possibly india also or in china uh, more people who are in the age group of 70 plus have died so due to higher proportion of death at higher ages it contributes less to years of life lost of yll because they have all most of them have already lived longer than the average years of life and due to short span of suffering among the infected survivors or non survivors its contribution to another component of daily years lived with disability or yld is very small the elderly people are more fortunate to die of corona than cancer or cardiovascular diseases because this this part uh, takes into consideration severity of the disease and uh, how much was the disease or the cause of death prolonged uh, health functions are actually more than uh, the dysfunctions of covid 19 to follow ivan illich one of the uh, leading critical sociologists of education and health dampening of uh, uh, medical nemesis the term that he uh, used to provide a critique of medical sciences of his time uh, to follow ivan illich dampening of medical nemesis and greater reliance on self efforts has reduced lifestyle diseases and the associated cause specific death rates um, from uh, so many uh, social media reports we find that uh, in the midst of this uh, virus uh, deaths due to other reasons other causes of death among the elderly have actually reduced then due to social distancing many types of infectious diseases are also controlled there is a reduction in industrial and road accidents and injuries and there is promotion of healthy practices like yoga uh, exercises which can be taken at home actually there are many many, many functions not only that dysfunctions are less there are many many functions and these functions are environmental economic social political and psychological let me give you some examples of these environmental uh, function 
uh, there is a cleaner environment from what i get uh, from whatsapp messages and um, and newspapers and, uh, and news new channels that now there is much much better environment uh, what even earlier uh, or even could not achieve in delhi now we have achieved or uh, corona or covid 19 has uh, made us achieve that social distancing is of course the main reason uh, lack of transport um, on the road uh, and closure of industries uh, and, and there are uh, these reasons but uh, as a result of social distancing and uh, lockdown measures announced by the government now there is much better environment and we have cleaner rivers reduce air water and noise pollution this is a great achievement so uh, all those dysfunctions which are associated with climate change have almost vanished or have greatly been reduced there are uh, economic functions uh, ec uh, ec economic functions include closure of inefficient and inessential economic activities in unmanageable city large cities metropolitan cities uh, second desire to focus more on agriculture and villages small scale industry small business and the promotion of the idea of local initiatives this is what uh, khadi meant to gandhi uh, promotion of the idea of local initiatives something which is produced with local resources local labor and something which is mostly consumed locally and according to the value system of society that production and distribution is most valued that is what khadi means to me to me at least that is what khadi means so uh, in economic terms uh, covid 19 is uh, i believe going to uh, encourage khadi activities and in other words village self rule people don't have to go to cities in search of employment so push factors in employment are going to fall further promotion of cashless financial transaction uh, leading to possibility of reduced corruption cash transaction has been a major factor in uh, india having a high perception of corruption index and this cashless financial transaction during this lockdown period due to corona will uh, help in promoting cashless financial transaction there are social functions like uh, strengthening of family ties in the urban middle class families and sharing of domestic roles by husbands and wives preparing ground for greater gender equality these are all hypotheses we need to test them empirically then uh, prestige of some occupational groups like police may go up police is certainly helping a lot in uh, maintaining social distance and uh, in this lockdown period providing essential services health services taking people to health facility and all kinds of things so uh, people are welcoming policemen um, and uh, the police which which was earlier seen to be one of the most corrupt departments now the prestige of uh, police department has certainly gone up and there is a faith in the people that police is for us police helps us police is uh, not to be something uh, feared about. then uh, boost to self learning methods online education uh, closure of educational institutions and uh, absence of students on the campus you know has uh, uh, encourage many institutions many educational institutions like uh, Del delhi public schools and uh, iits and iims to go for online education develop e resources and this uh, uh, search for online educational material is also enhanced among both uh, students and faculty members 
Then in agriculture and village industry, there is increased role of women due to absentee male migrants or those quarantined during uh, crucial agricultural operations. Uh, this time we are having a crucial agricultural operation of harvesting, crop cutting and uh, taking uh, wheat uh, from the farm to the nearest Monday uh, business center and uh, absence of males because uh, many males have been stuck up in large cities due to sudden announcement of lockdown. Um, and I hypothesize that uh, proportion of women participating in such activities must have gone up in rural areas. And this will also create a more egalitarian society gender wise. There is certainly a political function and in all those countries where a ruling party can enforce strict measures for social distancing and are able to show a reduction in the spread of virus, uh, in recoveries and uh, uh, mean, I mean there are more recoveries and a reduced number of deaths there the credibility of the ruling party is going up uh, because uh, you have to notice one thing that in political circles there is greater emphasis on efficiency now administrative efficiency to what extent you are able to spread uh, you are able to stop the spread of virus and media and politicians and administrators are using the term doubling time in how much time infections double. If we can reduce the doubling time, uh, sorry, if we can increase the uh, doubling time, means uh, um, if the virus takes more and more time to uh, double the numbers, then the credibility of the ruling party goes up. Uh, there is a, a reduced emphasis on the vision of the political party, vision for national building, uh, vision for uh, restructuring of society in some way or uh, reforms or other factors. There is all the time emphasis on efficiency in stopping the spread of the virus and in, uh, in, uh, in ensuring that uh, the virus takes more and more time to spread. So um, are not all the time worried about R naught than anything else. Then role of opposition groups is also enhanced. Bo actually both are gaining. Ruling elite are gaining and opposition groups are also gaining. Because uh, in many countries like India, the opposition had no meaningful alternative economic agenda. And now they at least have something to be critical about. Like they can say, that there is lack of proper planning in declaring lockdown policy or lack of testing facilities uh, or samples or, or uh, uh, say, uh, uh, we are not getting good quality of uh, tests or personal protection equipment. Or we can criticize government policy. Opposition parties can criticize government policies for importing poor quality equipment and testing kids from outside. There are also psychological advantages. Uh, I believe, I hypothesize that there is increased internal locus of control. And this uh, psychologist talk of two types of locus of control, internal and external. It is external when we attribute um, to our successes and failure something external to us like God, like society, and locus of control is uh, internal when we attribute our successes and failures to ourselves. Now, and due to change climate, um, um, I hypothesize that there is uh, uh, now more of internal locus of control than external. You, uh, you have to look for self-initiative. Self-initiative 
in procuring supplies, in maintaining your health, uh, in communicating with the outside world, in education, in working from home, in several domains of your life. More self-initiative is required. Um, there is self-discovery of the virtue of self-control also. It's a, difficult to remain inside the home uh, 24 hours and for months together. So you have to do something. Human beings are basically creative. There is self-discovery of the virtue of self-control. There are many things uh, you were addicted to or you enjoyed, but uh, you are deprived of those things. Maybe uh, those who use substance, those who use uh, more of liquor or those who smoke, uh, they discover the virtue of self-control in these respects and uh, either become uh, de-addicted to these things or they are at least forced to reduce the frequency of consumption or amount of consumption substance use. There is a strong desire to maintain mental health despite diversity. We all know that we are facing lots of diversities uh, at different planes, social plane, psychological plane, uh, political plane, uh, everywhere and um, still uh, we know that there is no one uh, we can't um, it's uh, psychiatrists or uh, our relatives or our friends or those with whom we could share our problems you know are not available so easily so there is a strong desire to maintain mental health despite diversity so fi finally we hypothesize that the end of covid 19 would be a new beginning in the development of indigenous knowledge frameworks in sciences all countries are going to realize india definitely is going to realize that um, we must have our own science we must have our own social science we must have um, our own industry and our politics and everything must be more and more autonomous on uh, uh, our decisions, our decisions should be our own decisions. And okay, in this global age, it is not possible to disassociate from the world. But what Gandhi said at one time, that independence means your ability to declare yourself independent. So your ability, at least you are gaining in the ability to behave in an independent fashion, uh, independent of the political circumstances and environment, uh, and uh, situation in other countries or um, international market. Uh, so we hypothesize that at the end of COVID-19 would be a new beginning in development of indigenous knowledge. There will be, you are forced, actually you are forced to develop new knowledge, um, indigenous knowledge. Uh, in sciences, in biological sciences, in medicine, in agriculture, industry and political fields. Then in social institutions, uh, certainly it will encourage simplified norms of marriage. I feel very happy when uh, TV channels report that uh, somewhere a simple marriage was performed and uh, uh, there was uh, not much crowd and no exchange of gifts and dowry. And uh, so that, uh, maybe, uh, uh, a new psychology will develop you know? uh, and uh, simplified forms of marriage, rituals, uh, rituals at the time of birth of a child, rituals at the time of death, rituals at the time of marriage, there will be less rituals. Uh, and economic transactions, culture, promotion of spiritualism. I, I believe that in econo uh, economic transitions, culture, marriage, rituals, uh, there will be new norms and there will be promotion of spiritualism rather than communal identities and there will be belief uh, uh, in spirituality more um, and belief in desire fulfilling god will decline people will know that uh, uh, the word centers of christianity islam hinduism have been closed if god cannot save himself how can he save 
us uh, or how can he fulfill our desires uh, i think that uh, this communal and uh, ideology based type of a book based or religion based on messengers and incarnations uh, is going to um, be adversely affected uh, its impact is going to be reduced and um, a, a more spiritual kind of religion what in indian tradition we call dharma that real dharma uh, which is normative which is uh, which aims at our individual salvation uh, which uh, create uh, more desire for charity humanity fraternity equality and ultimate uh, actualization of ourselves that will increase so belief in desire fulfilling god will decline um, people will realize that god is inside god is not in the kedarnath temple or badrinath temple or in makka or madina god is inside us and god is inside every human being and we we have more self reliant individual social groups and nations in the new age of globalization globalization will remain once it is starts globalization will remain but still we will become more and more self reliant at the individual level at at all the levels individual level social groups level uh, urban and rural areas uh, regions in the country and uh, at the national level in the new age of globalization um, and this means uh, more people are going to read uh, mahatma gandhi in swaraj and i think uh, therefore that covid 19 has done less harm then uh, helping us in realizing our real indigenous potentials and uh, in making us more self reliant spiritual egalitarian uh, and fight against all kinds of inequalities based on region nation race and gender thank you very much um, this is uh, what my presentation is uh, and uh, so uh, this is the crux of this presentation uh, what i wanted to say that everything has both the sides functions and dysfunctions um, good things and bad things all the time we are talking of bad things of covid 19 and nobody wants to die obviously we, we all want to survive we do not want to catch infection but uh, looked at in the larger perspective covid 19 is doing less harm even in terms of death and uh, uh, disability adjusted life years the burden of disease ultimately all diseases will be compared on the basis of daily burden of disease and uh, even in terms of daily uh, the dysfunction of covid 19 is not much but there are so many functions at environmental level social level economic level and personal level uh, and i'm i'm very optimistic and happy that uh, this covid 19 is going to lead to a new kind of spiritualism and uh, a fight against religious dogmas and uh, communal tendencies in society thank you very much <laughs>